What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So just a quick update on the van. I um, made some progress. As you can see, I have my Pitbull TRS system here now. Um, this plan has gone through like several iterations. That's why I'm not recording because I wasn't sure which one I would go with. You can either, of course, bolt this straight into the van or you could do um, the plank, uh, wood plank method, which I'm preferring to do. I would just want to avoid um, drilling holes into the van because this is not going to be my forever van. I think I'm going to eventually move up to a bigger van. So I don't want to do anything permanent to the van. I want it to be nice and clean so that when I'm ready to sell it, I can just remove this system easily and you know sell it. So I'm utilizing the existing D-rings here. This I know this is janky looking, but I'm trying to find a solution where... I can get a better D-ring setup um, that it's a little bit higher, so it's straight. Um, it has a straight kind of link. I'm not using this um, carabiner thing here. Um, this is just all mocked up for now. Um, I'm just kind of planning out how everything will go. Uh, the the D-ring doesn't seem to um, it doesn't lift it doesn't move, so it's kind of like it's kind of fixed in there. That's why it's kind of annoying. Um, but I'm trying to find um, a better D-ring setup for that. But mainly, this is the the, the 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 part that's gonna hold the bike so i bought this basically this wood here measurements are this, this right here i bought this from um, home depot and it's already this size I, I thought i was gonna cut it but when i put it in here it just it's exactly the length of uh, i mean the width of the wheel wells that was um that's a good thing i guess and then um it's a three-fourths uh thickness it would be nice to be, I would say, two inches full because the bolt would sit like this and then I don't want the, the bottom of the bolt. I don't want to cut this bolt. So people say you can just cut it. I don't want to cut it. So two inches would be nice to cover the whole thread of the bolt and then maybe just recess the end of it so that it's not grinding into the, the floor of the van. And so I have everything mocked up. The rear wheel will be right here and it's going to go straight that way. And it should clear everything. Um, so right now, I'm just basically finalizing measurements and decision before I start drilling into this piece of wood here. So I'm going to be using this U um, U bolt things here to hook the turnbuckles into it. It's going to be in this location, this location, this location, this location. And if it's really um, once you tighten it, it shouldn't it shouldn't move. It's fixed. It shouldn't move. So um, that's what we're going to find out. So this is basically just part one. I just kind of want to give an update because, um, yeah, I just I haven't posted in a while. Here's um, I'm thinking about. So basically, this is three fourths. This is um, another three fourths, basically. So kind of like two inches. So if I add, I'm thinking uh, uh, buying another one uh, or cutting this up or buying another one of this and um, creating feet. So just uh, platform. Uh, like kind of like a feet in this uh, corner areas to raise it up so that the bolt doesn't scratch the floor of the van. But um, yeah, I just the 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 worst part of this is so easy. Everything about this is great. It's just that it adds a little bit of height um, to the platform. Unless I extend this all the way there to the front wheel, it's re it will be hard to to kind of pull the bike back uh, when you're rolling it off because of that edge up here. So now I'm thinking I'll just um, maybe taper this or, or, or connect another piece of wood so that it's all one plane. So that's another, that's another um, brainstorming session there. Um, but that's basically where I'm at. I'm kind of just um, mocking everything up here. And soon, yeah, we'll get the bike up here and I'll show you guys uh, what the fi uh, finished product would be. But... The Fitbull TRS system, I think it's it's great. Like you could do the wheel chalk setup, find a way to mount the wheel chalk. But um, once this is up and running, it's, it takes a lot a lot to set up. But once it's up and running, it's uh, once it's up and, and set up, it's it's much faster. So um, there's enough space uh, in here for the for the bike to sit. As you can see here, even with the handle of the TRS system, it's like right about here it doesn't hit the door at all so 
as long as you as long as I stay within this um, where the tape is I mark the tape so as long as anything nothing goes past that uh, the, the wood doesn't go past that that's the that's my um, barrier all right YouTube here we go we finally have the final kind of uh, form of this so um, it's actually really really simple so because of these mats here I was able to have some cushioning uh, underneath the board also it helps elevate the um, the board so that the screws can rest on it um, these are very uh, like industrial grade mats from Costco so even if the bolts bolts are resting on it it's really, really strong it's not gonna pierce through and I doubled up on it so I don't care if it leaves like some kind of marking there's already ridges on it Let me show it to you guys there's already ridges on it like you, you can barely notice anything if there's the bolts are rubbing on it so it um, I'm not worried about that I don't have to create basically I don't have to create feet for the board because of the overhang of the bolts underneath it's just resting on all um, all of them are resting on these on this mat so um, I, I, I still stuck with the turnbuckle um, solution sorry for the flicker the light is um, not ideal yeah so there you go turnbuckle uh, solution that's what I did and this is as far back as I can do it so that I can still close the door to the van and that gives me the most uh, basically all the room that, that I need so so when the bike is uh, in here the handle is up to there just about there so um, just enough and that's enough to have the S1000RR fit on the passenger side unfortunately uh, no one can sit on the passenger passenger side seat because the S1000RR is quite long if you have uh, I guess a smaller bike I don't know you'll you can probably get away with um, a passenger seat there but yeah S1000RR full size full size uh, sport bike you need to push that seat all the way up forward um, what else can I say? Yeah, the board, I just, it's really, really simple. U-bolts, turnbuckle, um, the industrial strength um, um, carabiner here, and bolted straight to the D-ring that's on the van. That's it. Um, it's not moving. I tried to pull it. The whole van is moving when I pull on it. So um, it's not moving. It's not shifting side to side because... Um, there might be some chafing going on on that, um, so I'm going to make sure to, maybe I'll shave a little bit of it and then put some kind of cushioning in between that and the the wheel well, but I like that it's resting on the wheel well actually because it's preventing any sort of shifting. So what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I'll find some way to cushion the contact between the wheel well and the, and the board. I'll find some, I'll find something. Um, maybe uh, some kind of felt material. I'll just put it on the wall there to to kind of um, prevent the the chafing, and maybe shave that board a little bit over there. But everything else is fine. I'm not even gonna touch it. And this is I really really like this system. So the ramp can be over here, or you can just rest it right right directly on the board, so that when the bike ro rolls up. It just gets, uh, it just catches into these latches, and then you just, um, yeah, you just the 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 rearward facing um, orientation of this is the best. You can do it um, on with this on the front of the rear wheel too, but that's kind of harder because it's hard to ride the bike or or push the bike up with this on the front of it. I don't know if that's gonna work because on the for the rear you can ha you can use the bungee cord to hang this. Um, behind the the tire and then you can still roll the bike around so that's kind of good so that's pretty much it uh, not much else for me to say i just want to show you guys the solution this is not my idea there's a couple of people on youtube that have already done this uh on a bigger van so this is but i'm the first one i guess that that kind of built this in the transit connect and i want to show you that it does work so here you go um rolling the bike backwards might be a little bit of a challenge because of this corner here so i'll have to figure that out too but might, maybe it's not not too bad you know i can just muscle it up muscle it out there and it's not so bad so um that's it
All right. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And I will um, see you guys on the next part of this video where I finalize the um, exterior fixings of the um, the van, which is like the, the bumper situation and um, all that stuff. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.